Hi, this is David Williams for My Expert Advisor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use VTS to create a new Expert Advisor. First, a quick definition. A VTS system is a collection of VTS drawings and elements. When the VTS system is built, it produces MQL code, which can be compiled into an Expert Advisor. Okay, from the Welcome screen, click on the Start New System button. Then click the EA Builder button. This will display a window where you can name the VTS system and also select some drawings to be automatically created. Selecting drawings is optional. Drawings can be created and added to a VTS system at any time. In this example, we will not select any additional drawings. We'll name the system First EA. When we select OK, VTS creates a single drawing with a start element and an end element. Execution of an EA begins at the start element and follows the link or links to the end element. This drawing does not have any additional elements, so even though the system will build an EA, it will not do anything. So we are going to add an indicator to the drawing, and it will have the EA calculate the value of the indicator and display the value on the price chart. To add an indicator to the drawing, we go to the Function tab of the Toolbox. Expand the MQL Indicators menu, select a menu item, and drag it onto the pad. The first time you drop a new element onto the drawing pad, you'll be asked if you want to automatically connect the element to its nearby links. This is handy because it automatically drops your indicator in between the start and end elements that connect the links. I'll say no this time, so I can show you how to manually remove and add links. This element represents the moving average indicator. It's not connected, so its value would not be calculated if we built the system right now. To delete a link, select it with your mouse and press the delete key on your keyboard. To create a link, click down on your mouse near one element and drag your mouse and release it next to the element to which you want to connect it. Now that the moving average indicator is connected, we'll go ahead and configure it. There are three buttons along the bottom of every VTS element. There's a question mark button, which opens a help window, an info button that shows information about the element, including the generated MQL code, and the plus button, which is used to configure the element. The first tab of the configuration window lists all of the parameters for the indicator. Some of these parameters are probably familiar to you, such as the time frame and the symbol. You can use the menu to select different values for each parameter. The other tab we'll use today is the message tab. The message tab is found on all elements and is used to send messages from your expert advisor to you. In this case, we're going to write the calculated value of the moving average indicator on the price chart on each tick. First, we'll check the Enable checkbox. Then we'll configure what to write, in this case, the value. Then we'll configure where to send the message, in this case, to the price chart. When we're finished configuring the element, we click the OK button to save the changes. Now, we simply click the Build button to build the Expert Advisor. A message appears showing the status of the build. The EA was successfully built. Now we can attach the EA to a chart and watch it run.